So I mentioned this a lot when I commentate on jungle dueling, that there are two types of jungle duelists in the game. There are the sluggers and the tacticians, with some champions who are capable of being sort of a mix of both. First off, it is vital to mention what makes a champion a strong jungle duelist. Note that it can be a combination of these traits or a ridiculous amount of one trait that can be used to overwhelm an opponent. Damage is one of the obvious traits on this list, and outright being able to slaughter your opponent is one of the two most important from it. Stickiness or otherwise chasing potential is the other of the two and arguably the most important. If you cannot even reach your opponent, then it doesn't matter how much damage you can deal. This includes movement speed steroids and gap closers. Crowd control is helpful, but not actually, you know, too important for a duelist in the jungle. It can obtain a kill, but it often can't win the fight alone. The champion needs to have some way of backing up their CC through damage or something, or at least have it be spammable in order to control their target, something like Nunu Snowball. However, CC is very important for escaping, so it it does count towards jungle dueling in that aspect. Wall hopping is another strong factor for duelists as it helps them escape or perform surprise attacks on their opponents and can sometimes be used to avoid wards when invading. Strong base stats and abilities are very important as junglers are basically naked at the start of the game and can only have their ride given design to beat out their opponents. Similar to having strong base stats is having some fat tank steroid. Some duelists can win by simply outlasting their opponents. Vision reveal is a small one but can make or break a lot of champions chasing potential, so it's kind of useful to have at least. Being melee also greatly helps, as the overabundance of bushes can screw up ranged auto attacks and ranged targeted abilities. For that same reason, skill shots prevail over targeted abilities, although it does not mean some targeted abilities aren't usable. Anyhow, sluggers are just as the name implies. They cannot outmaneuver their opponents very well, even though some of them may have some form of mobility. They rely on a very simple pattern of see enemy, attack enemy when it comes to dueling. They simply punch it out with their opponent and chase them to their deaths. I cannot think of a way to explain this even better, you know, it's a very simple concept for what a slugger is. The common traits amongst these types of champions are having high base stats, they're mostly pure melee, movement speed steroids only, and you know, gap closers that you can't use to disengage. They're often very kiteable, but they're also naturally tanky with even some, you know, tank steroids to help them out, and they have dangerously high damage. The other type of duelists, the tacticians, are where things can become more complicated and awesome. These are the duelists who may not necessarily be able to slug it out with many of the other top tier duelists, but can still win because of their shenanigans that they can pull off thanks to their kits. They often can take more risks because of their abilities, and escape fights and re-engage fights, pull crazy moves, assert ridiculous control, and decide where fights take place. The common traits for these types of junglers, duelists, are that they have usually regular stats amongst most champions, but are often loaded with steroids or debuffs. They're mostly melee with some range factors, such as having ranged abilities. They often have more gap closers than movement speed steroids, and those gap closers can often be used to disengage to leave fights and re-engage whenever they want. They have utilities such as crowd control, fog reveal, wall hopping, which was already mentioned, and oftentimes they have mixed damage, which makes it even harder for the opponents to deal with as he can't itemize against it as easily. Now it may seem like the tactician is naturally more powerful and better suited for this than the slugger, but it's not always the case. A slugger can absolutely overwhelm a technician and a tactician will often flat out lose in situations where they couldn't set up to exploit their tricks. It's basically a game of cat and mouse in this situation. The slugger goes for the straight brute force route and tries to find and murder an opponent while the tactician tries to lure and trap their opponent and systematically slay them. Seeing a slugger catch someone is like watching a quick beating take place, while well, a tactician is watching a slow and agonizing death. It's like playing a card game in this matter. The tactician wants to set up for an awesome combo that can one-shot his opponent and make it look awesome, but they have to have all the cards necessary to do that in the first place. The slugger is just playing the pure beatdown creatures and it's just wailing at their opponents. I'm going to be asked this in the comments regardless, so I might as well answer it here. Who are the best jungle duelists? It is debatable, but it's often accepted that the best jungle duelists in the game are, in this order, Elise, Udyr, Skarner, Elisen, and Trundle being the strongest jungle duelist in the game. If you want to know why, go watch his when to pick jungle trundle video.